I'm Elizabeth Vargas, and this is 2020 in Touch. 30 years ago this week, a six-year-old boy disappeared on his way to school in New York City. Aton Pates became the symbol of all missing children, and Jay Shadler is preparing a special hour on his story. When was the first time you heard the name Jose Antonio Ramos? I would have to say the beginning of 1985. Stuart Grabois is a former assistant U.S. attorney. For more than 20 years, he has sought to solve the Aton Pates case. And it was nearly 20 years ago that Mr. Grabois and I first spoke. The plain and simple truth is a lot of people think that you're obsessed with this case. <laughs> I personally do not think it's abnormal to feel for the Pates family, nor is it abnormal to try to find out what happened to their son. In 1991, Grabois appeared on ABC's Primetime Live. So did Jose Ramos. When I interviewed them, Grabois already believed Ramos was involved in Aton's disappearance. Stuart Grabois calls you a pedophile. I don't feel I was a, a total pedophile. Isn't that like saying I, I, I'm just a little bit pregnant? I mean, how can you be no, either, no, no, you're no, either no, a pedophile no, or not no, a pedophile? No, 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 no. Don't, don't go into that condensation of that. I was little mentally unstable. At the time, Ramos knew that Grabois was after him, but he did not know this. There was a plan in place to try to obtain additional statements from Jose Antonio Ramos. The plan will eventually involve a rookie FBI agent. I mean, there are moments in this case that um, are beyond chilling. And jailhouse informants. He even drew me a map of uh, Eaton's route on a school bus. He knew exactly where the school bus stopped. That special hour airs tonight on 2020 at 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 Central. I'm Elizabeth Vargas. For all of us at 2020 and ABC News, we're in touch, so you be in touch.